Bine v-am regăsit! Haideți să vorbim despre viață. Ce este viața? Dacă ar fi să dați o definiție vieții, care ar fi aceea? Viața este cel mai important dar pe care Dumnezeu ni l-a oferit și suntem datori să-l protejăm. Ne-a spus Laila Rose, una dintre cele mai puternice voci pro viață din Statele Unite ale Americii. La 15 ani a devenit voluntar pentru viață, iar acum la 33 de ani ne spune că cea mai grea luptă este cea pentru viață. O avem astăzi invitată la secvențe Trinitas. Nimic nu se compară cu viața. Așa a început interviul cu una dintre cele mai puternice voci pro viață din lume, Laila Rose. Thank you so much for accepting our invitation. It is a huge honor to have you here in Romania, at a television in Romania. And my first question would be, what do you think is the definition of a life? Well, first of all, thank you so much for inviting me and I'm so grateful for the incredible work that you're doing in Romania to fight for life because Our movement on behalf of children and women is a global movement and I hope I get to visit at some point in the future. Uh, what is the definition of life? I, first, there's a biological definition. We know, according to science, that life begins at the moment of fertilization with a single cell embryo that's genetically distinct from his or her mother, that has uh, thousands of traits already decided, eye color, hair color, uh, the sex, how tall the child will be one day, And that single cell embryo just needs time and nourishment to grow. So we know what a human life is. That's scientifically uh, clear and un uncontested. As far as morally speaking, the question then is, do human beings, do humans have a right to live? Do they have human rights? We have to fight for the human rights of all humans, no matter their age, no matter how developed they are. And so that includes that embryo in, the, in his or her mother's body. It's because life is um, the first right. Exactly. Yeah. Life has to come first. Avea doar 15 ani atunci când a început lupta pentru viață, iar la 18 ani a realizat o investigație jurnalistică despre centrele de planificare familială din Statele Unite ale Americii. When I learned about many of the abuses of abortion because it's killing the child in an abortion clinic, but it's also manipulating and taking advantage of the mother. There's a lot of other illegal activity that happens in abortion clinics because if you disrespect the child, it is easy to disrespect the mother. It's easy to disrespect the, the, the woman. So as a college student, I did my first undercover investigation of an abortion clinic by exposing my local Planned Parenthood clinic in Los Angeles covering up the child sexual abuse of their clients. So young girls are sometimes taken to abortion clinics or abortionists because they're pregnant as victims of rape, statutory rape. And they should report this, the abortion clinic. They should get the child protective services involved or the police. But instead, they want to sell abortions. They don't want to create trouble for themselves. And so I documented two different Los Angeles clinics covering up child sexual abuse telling me, posing as an underage abuse victim, to lie about my age on the paperwork and to get a secret abortion. My parents wouldn't know, no one would know, and it would send me right back into the arms of my sexual abuser. I mean, this was their policy, the way they behaved at these two abortion clinics. And we've started publishing that material online. It started to go viral, get picked up by news media. And that launched a lot of other investigative reports that live action would do over the next decade. What was their reaction of uh, the Planned Parenthood industry after uh, uh, your investigation? So after the first investigation that I did, they were very, for want of a better word, angry. They threatened to sue me. You know, at the time I was a college student, they, they threatened legal action against me. And they, um, you know, did a report saying that I was an extremist, an anti-choice extremist. And yeah, I mean, they, they, it was a threat and they tried to threaten me to, to try to get me to stop. Am ființat Live Action, o organizație de informare și educare cu privire la procedura de avort și efectele ei. This is the human rights issue of our day. We have to do better for children. They deserve better than to be killed. And women deserve better than to be told that abortion is a solution and abortion is good for them. We have to do better for women and children. And so that inspired live action. And, you know, there's there's thousands, I would say even millions of young people 
in the United States and worldwide who are part of this fight. So it's exciting to see that this is a young, a young fight. It's not just for, you know, it's for people of all ages, but young people are leading the way. What are your thoughts about abortion? I think that um, the women should have the right to choose what they do with their bodies. I have to second that 110%. I'm pro-abortion. People should have the choice if they're not ready. Would you both support abortion all the way up to the moment of birth? Oh yeah, I do. I do, yes. I have nothing against it and I think, you know, it's a right and a choice for people to exercise it. I personally wouldn't do it, but like I wouldn't restrict anyone. Pro choice, for sure. În cadrul campaniei de informare 2363, cifră care se referă la numărul zilnic de avorturi din Statele Unite ale Americii, Laila a reușit să facă lumină și să arate de fapt că informația înseamnă putere. Când afli ce înseamnă avortul, este aproape imposibil să fii de acord cu el. In one word, can you describe your thoughts on what you saw? Disturbing. Barbaric. Yeah. It's a form of like just taking life and just throw it in the trash. That's just, that's too much for me. I have children. No, I, I don't think any kid, any baby, any infant, I mean, um, you know, any fetus should go through that. No. That's not okay. That's not okay. Um, I... That changes my opinion. The videos that I that you guys show me has changed my mind. Seeing that was like really sad. We can change mine. You know, we can impact society and help save lives. And if they knew what actually happens during the abortion procedure, they know that the baby's heart is beating at just three and a half weeks. Most women don't even know they're pregnant yet. The more we can educate, those are some of the best tools we have. And then political advocacy is important too. We should we need to abolish abortion. We need to protect these children by law, and then we need to serve women and make sure there are resources for them, for those that become pregnant and are not prepared for parenthood or they need support in their pregnancies. We need to make sure those resources exist, those safety nets exist for women and for for their families. Because supporting women and uh, children means serving women, actually. Exactly. Uh, you have to. I, I think people say, oh, pro-life movement is just for the child. No, it, it has to be for the woman. That's why we say love them both at Life Action and in our movement. You, we have to serve them both. They are linked. The child is dependent on the mother. That's the design, and it's a beautiful one. If we can make sure the mother is supported. That never justifies if there's no support that still doesn't justify killing somebody. În ultimele patru decenii, în Statele Unite ale Americii au fost făcute mai bine de un miliard și jumătate de avorturi. I have my right to life protected. I am alive. I'm blessed. I have this beautiful world that I think God has given me and given us together to share. I, I was not aborted. And there are children out there who do not have that same protection that I have today of being alive. And so when you put the fight in perspective, that this is life or death for people, when you think about the de- devastation this is for many women and, and men and families, the sacrifices that we may experience, you know, to go out there and speak out, to go undercover as I did, it puts it in perspective. And so, yes, it was scary. There were times that it was very difficult to do pro-life activism. But when I thought about who I was fighting for and the opportunity to save lives, I considered that work a privilege. Pentru a veni în sprijinul tuturor celor care ajută o femeie în criză de sarcină să își păstreze copilul sau a celor care vor să înființeze asociații care să facă proiecte pro viață, Laila a scris cartea Lupta pentru viață: Cum să devii o forță a schimbării într-o lume rănită. How can we change uh, the world? The, the big message of fighting for life, there are 27 lessons for how we can change the world. But many of the lessons start actually with changing ourselves and allowing ourselves to be changed. Because we can, and, and for me, you know, my sometimes the greatest work I can do each day, I can try to run live action, I can try to advocate and, and do activism and educate. But it begins with, am I being the best person I can be, the most loving? Am I being the most uh, courageous person I can be, the, the patient person I need to be, so that I can actually love the way that I want to see love in the world? I mean, ultimately, the pro-life movement is about love. 
Do you know how many children uh, you saved until now? <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know exactly. I hope many more than I even know about. We do keep a, a bit of a running list at Live Action when someone tells us directly, you know, you saved a life and we have dozens of those and hundreds of um, comments and emails and messages. To know that even one life has been saved and it's in the hundreds, but to know it's even one life, it's what more could you ask for than for your work to help save one life? I just want to encourage anyone listening, you know, you never know the impact of your work. You never know what your willingness to speak the truth can can create, can can contribute. And, you know, I'll, I'll never forget, I'll tell one story. When I was first starting to do prayer outside of abortion clinics, and you can do it outside of hospitals or abortion clinics that do abortions. And I was with some other students and we were praying And I found out later that the students, because we were there on the sidewalk, the students were there on the sidewalk, there was a woman that drove by the abortion clinic and she did not go in that day. She was supposed to have an abortion, but she drove by because she was praying to God for a sign. She was praying that somebody would give her a sign not to have the abortion. And when she drove by the clinic and saw the young people standing outside the clinic praying quietly, peaceably, she said, that's my sign from God. I'm not going to have my abortion. So you never know what your courage can do if you're willing to stand up for life. Cea mai mare binecuvântare a vieții ei este să fie mamă. Do you have children? I do. I'm blessed with two sons. I have and then also we had a miscarriage and so we have we have three children. One of them is not with us, but two little boys and it's been it's a huge blessing with uh, to have them and they remind me how important this work is because There's nothing like a child and their vulnerability and their innocence and that's everything that we are fighting for in the pro life movement is the protection of children. How is it when you find out uh, that you will become a mother? It was uh, very exciting for me and my husband. I worked throughout my 20s to do advocacy for children as I know many of you are doing every day for the pro life cause. And so when I was privileged to become a mother myself and we saw that pregnancy test that said positive and I knew now I too was a mother it was a tremendous privilege and it, my son has brought more joy to my life and our our lives than we could have imagined and I just want to protect that joy for others and and help women and families see the gift that a child is because they are they're tremendous gifts Laila Rose a transmis un mesaj românilor It's not just another cause the pro life cause It is the greatest human rights issue of our day because the most vulnerable members of our planet are being destroyed and the numbers are catastrophic. In all of human history, there is no death toll as great as abortion. And this is about our children. This is about our future. And it's about the question of what does it mean to be human? Is human life precious? And that's why I encourage everyone, this is our movement. This is our time. We need to do this together. And if we can do it together, We can transform society to be more loving, to be more just. What better thing to fight for?